I was very excited. I mean, first of all, uh, you know, at the time, this was before my hit prison TV show, which I'm very grateful to be on. Thank you. Good job. And, um, but, you know, the reality is, is in, nobody at that time was really saying, hey, I want to write a movie just for you. I was in a very, uh, you know, a low dip in a career, if a career is one of these, if a life is one of these, as though I'm there. And, uh, you know, to have Danny, who was a friend of mine, sort of, um, you know, be, to me was like a very accomplished, cool guy who was, uh, you know, uh, worked with all these bands that we kind of knew and um, you know, all these visuals and was still like, you know, a proper, you know, film person, you know, saying you're the person I want to make something for him. Um, it really, it meant a lot to me. And, and also uh, then when he delivered the script and it was just so good, but I, I think that the, um, Chloe and I would speak a lot about uh, just the dialogue in the movie being so true to life in a way that you never see. And, and I remember Danny, you know, throughout just being like, ah, I don't want like close up, close up, two shot, medium yeah. shot, like, you know, and you can really see in the style of the movie that there's a real um, kind of overlapping scumbag nature that I find very appealing to read. It sounded like a very new voice that was very exciting. And, you know, personally, I feel like the film is a, is a comedy. Um, so, it's just something to think about next time you watch it. It's my life, literally, birth and I, at the, at the end of it, I thought, now, now what do I do? Um, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna, uh, carry on. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a film, I, I think, if you're asking if there's a sequel? The <laughs> rest the sequel, Chloe comes back to the trailer, Finds the alien with the head back, and they go on a road trip, and throughout the movie, she slowly morphs back into Natasha. <laughs> and that's what's going on. Abra Bam. <laughs> Give me money, Canada. We'll make it. Um. I have a good story about this, real quick. If I could please, please, because I have no idea. I think I'm just walking around looking at people. Literally, the AD <laughs> on the shoot would never let me play music on set, and it was kind of an issue of contention with me because I was like, I like heavy music, it kind of mellows the mood, gets people in a good vibe and he's like no it's a union thing you can't blah 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 so i would literally go outside to smoke and i come back in the twos would be off and be like what the fuck man so one time natasha comes on the set in the robe fucking big ass belly limping blasting the misfits Woo! just like -na 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 -na. and i'm just like laughing my ass off because i know the ad is terrified of her and won't tell her to turn her music off and i'm just like Oh, God, God. Oh, God. Oh, it, was just, it was very funny. It was good, you know, I think a little bit of fear goes a long way in life. Um, <laughs> and, you know, because people give you a little bit of space. Sometimes you need a little bit of space. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I do think that's actually true. I kind of, I saw um, Jeff Goldblum do this on set once, which is like, he just, he kind of kept uh, sort of like talking, like he would talk to you, and then he would also talk to like this chair, and like also be over here. Tie he would sort of like stay in his own um, Jeff Goldblumness uh, throughout, so that nobody could quite tell, like you couldn't quite enter a, an actual conversation in a way that might be distracting. And whenever uh, you know they said action, he was already kind of in the middle of something. Um, and I thought that that was really you know brilliant because so um, so often you kind of. Uh, at least in, in auditions, especially when I've been uh, doing some producing lately, and you'll sort of see people kind of like, hey, it's great to meet you, man. Yeah, you're really cool. All right, let's do the scene. Like, hi, I was wondering if you were going to call me later. And like their voice changes a bit, and their whole uh, sort of uh, disposition and everything, you know. Um, and so I, I think I sort of stole that a bit, which is like, I, I mean, uh, someone said it's a, I mean, I guess it's, it's somewhat methody or whatever, uh, essentially which is like stay in the spirit of the thing, sort of chain smoking and being an animal and listening to the music and, you know, fuck this and fuck that. And uh, um, and additionally, like, we just did so much uh, work on it before and there was like so much uh, research. I mean, I think that we uh, fancy ourselves like tough guys who are like, don't care that much or something. But I think the truth of the matter is, is there's like a, a great, you know, respect for, for movies. And we, there was so much uh, kind of work that went into it. And, Research and there was a lot of for me watching um, uh, Denzel Washington at the end of Training Day, um, Razzo Rizzo in Midnight Cowboy, and performances of Sam Kinison. Thank you. Sudbury is a place. 
Um, it's very cold. Yes. In the winter. And there's an evil goblin king there that has money and facilities for you to make your movies with. And you dangle a movie star in front of the goblin king and say, man, we're going to make a movie, see? And uh, you go up there and you uh, have your dreams uh, crushed Crush. and shat upon on a daily basis. Moment to moment, even. But uh, no, to be to be fair, Sudbury is actually not as uh, gnarly looking as we made it look in the movie. If you ever rewatch it, there's actually many, not many uh, exteriors. So the few that there are, we chose appropriately. You know, where loose trailer is, if you pan to the right, you would have seen a dog park. To the over those rocks was the fucking park lot to a Best Buy. So I think mean, it's pretty suburban and so forth. Yeah, but, I think uh, they actually really quite liked that it was so, uh, you know, d desert, like sort of uh, nothing doing. Um, because it was very focused in that way and felt like uh, sort of special. Now, is it true that they would practice uh, moon landing there? Yeah, sure. yeah. For, yeah, the, the original moon landing. It is, yeah. right? 1969. The before my time. Movie? What's that? Right? I don't know. I, don't know I mean. liked that about it a great yeah. deal. <laughs> um, yeah, people, people are very nice. 